Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to solve some questions based on the inventory method concept. So our first question will be, a bus consumes 12.5 liter of diesel in covering a distance of 75 km. How much diesel will it consume in covering 393 km? So this is our question, so I solve this. So first, we just know that in the question it is given how much diesel. That means we have to find the amount of diesel. So we have to write the amount of diesel at the end of the statement. Like we write the diesel required to cover 75 kilometer equals to 12.5 liter. So like this our statement will be and the amount of diesel is at the end of the statement that means after the equation sign. So now that therefore diesel required to cover now you write 1 kilometer. So 1 kilometer now 75 will go for division that means it will become 12.5 by 75. So we keep it like this only now. So now you write the final statement that is the diesel required to cover so what is given the question that is 393 kilometer so now 393 will go for multiplication that will 12.5 by 75 into 393 so first we remove the decimal such 12.5 is in the um, uh, numerator so that means uh, the decimal are 10 position so we write 10 in the denominator so now I solve this. So first we can 125 and 75 by 25. It will become 5, 3. So now I got 3 and 393. It will become 131. So now I got 5 and 10. It will become 2. So now I cannot further cut it. So it becomes 131 by 2. So now I divide this. So 131 I write. First we cut by 6. That is 12. Now remainder 1 equal 1 so now I write 5 it will become 10 now again remainder 1 so you give up a, keep a, give up a decimal so it will take one more zero so you can easily write now 5 so now it is divisible by 5 so our final answer will be 65.5 liter will be our final answer for this question so let's move on to our next question so our next question is given 18 bags of rice having equal weights weigh 297 kg. How much will 22 such bags weigh? So these are questions and I solve this. So first it is given that how much weight will such bags weigh? That means the amount of weight that you have to keep in the end of the statement. That means after the equal to sign. So we frame our statement like this. That the weight of 18 bags of rice equals to so we only write the um, weight of 18 bags so that will be equal to 297 kg now, so now the weight is at the end of the statement so now I will weight of 1 bag so write weight of 1 bag equals to so now 18 will go for division so it becomes 297 by 18 so now I write of final statement which will become the weight of so what you have to find that is given 22 such bags so we write weight of 22 bags equals to so now 22 will go for uh, multiplication so it becomes 197 by 18 into 22 so first we cut by 2 18 and 22 so now you cut 9 and 297 it will go directly so it will become 33 so it means 33 into 11 which is equals to 363 kg so this is the final answer for this question so let's move on to our next question so our next question is 44 meter of cloth is required to make 20 shirts how much cloth will be required to make 35 shirts of the same size so this is our question in so a so in this question it is given how much cloth will be required set. so that means we have to keep the amount of cloth at the end of the statement that means after the equal sign so it's frame our statement like this to make 20 shirts cloth required equals to 
so it will be 44 meter so now 44 meter is at the end of the statement so now you write therefore to make one shirt cloth required equals to so now 20, 20 will go for division so it becomes 44 by 20 so now final statement that they are for to make so what you ask state is 35 shirts so they are for to make 35 shirts cloth required equals to so they are going to 44 by 20 into 35 so first you cut 20 and 35 by 5 it will become 4 it will become 7 so now you cut 4 and 44 it will become 11 so it becomes 11 into 7 so which will require 77 meter so this will be our final answer for this question so let's move on to our next question so our next and last question is if a man walks 17 kilometer in 5 hours how long will it take to walk 20.4 kilometer so these are questions that I solve this so in the question it is uh, given how long will it take that means we have to find out the time so I keep the time at the end of the statement so we frame our statement like this the time taken to cover so, so we write time taken to walk 17 kilometer so it will be equal to 5 hours so time is at the end of the statement so now I write therefore the time taken to cover 1 kilometer so that now 17 will go for division so it becomes 5 by 17 so now the final statement that is time taken to work so what is being asked it is given 20.4 kilometer so now 20.4 kilometer will mm, go at the mm, go for division so it become 5 by 17 into 20.4 so now if I should remove the decimal so mm, uh, the decimal is at a 10th position so you write the 204 by 10 so the decimal is removed so first you cut 5 and 10 become 1 by 2 so now you cut 2 and 204 it will become 102 so now you can cut 17 and 102 directly it will become 6 so therefore our answer for this question will be 6 hours so this is our last question for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions